Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Abdur and I'm an MSc in Applied Computing student at the University of Toronto. Today's video is all about how I cleared the AWS Developer Associate Certification exam with about a month of preparation. I'll be sharing everything about this exam, my preparation strategies as well as tips. So if you're planning on taking this exam anytime soon, then make sure you stick around till the end of this video. About a year ago, I passed the AWS Solutions Architect Associate Level Certification exam, which I've talked about in a previous video. In that video, I mentioned that I had plans to take the Developer Associate exam before I come to Toronto for my master's degree. But you know that didn't really happen because uh, I got occupied with travel related chores. So instead, I took the exam now. First, let's try to understand what exactly is the AWS Developer Associate Certification exam. With the rise of cloud computing, companies have constantly been shifting from running their infrastructure on-premise, which is hard to scale and manage, to running them on cloud, which offers far more elasticity in terms of scaling as well as resiliency in case of disasters. The AWS Developer Associate Certification validates your expertise in developing and maintaining applications on AWS, which is the leading cloud provider today. This certification focuses on core AWS services, development tools, and deployment practices. It can help developers enhance their skills, increase their earning potential, and demonstrate their skills to potential employers. Now let's take a look at the exam format. On this exam, you'll get 65 questions and 130 minutes to solve them, which means on an average, you'll get two minutes per question. Out of the 65 questions, 15 will be experimental, which means they will be ungraded but you won't know which ones are experimental. Otherwise, you would just skip them. So you need to attempt every single question in the exam. The scoring in this exam is percentile based and ranges between 100 to 1000. And you need to score 720 plus in order to pass, which basically means you need to get approximately 72% of the questions right in order to pass this exam. If you pass this exam, you get a certificate. If you don't, then you don't get one. The cost of this exam is 150 US dollars but I got a 50% discount due to which I had to pay just 75 US dollars. So the way it works is if you pass your first certification, then you can get a 50% off on the second one if you take the test within one year of, of taking your first certification exam. Since I passed my AWS Solutions Architect Associate Level Certification exam in the month of May last year, I was eligible for this discount. By the way, if you're finding value out of this video, kindly press the like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps my videos reach more people and motivates me to keep making videos like this. Now let's discuss my preparation strategy. I prepared for about a month studying 4 to 6 hours every day while pursuing MSCAC at U of T and working as a DevOps intern at 16bit.ai. I took the AWS Developer Associate course by Stefan Marek on Udemy to cover the concepts. Now preparing for the Developer Associate exam was a bit easier for me because I had already passed the Solutions Architect exam and the concepts overlap uh, to some degree between both the certification exams. With the course, you get one free practice test, but that is usually not enough. So I got three sets of practice tests on Udemy. The first set was by Stefan Marek, the second by John Bonso, and the third by Neil Davis. In each set, you get six practice tests. So in total, I had six times three equals 18 additional practice tests. While going through the course, I took easy to follow notes in Notion. Additionally, for every single practice test I took, I saved the questions along with explanations for the questions that I got wrong and the questions that I found difficult to answer. I also created a Notion page for quick notes to include information that is hard to remember. Things like uh, the message retention duration for a Kinesis data stream or uh, IOPS limits for various EBS volume types and so on. I just glanced through this stuff before uh, taking the actual test so that all of this information is fresh in my memory. My notes for the AWS Developer Associate exam is available free of cost and is linked in the video description. You can take this test at a testing center or online at the comfort of your home. My advice would always be to go for a testing center if there is one available nearby because you'll be much more relaxed during the test. The experience is smooth. You don't really have to worry about things like internet connectivity or proctoring issues and you'll be much more relaxed during the exam. So this is what I opted for for this exam. For the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam, I had opted for taking the test online and my experience was pretty bad. 
during the test i was warned about my lips moving while reading the question so the proctoring was way too strict i was stressed and mindful about my body position and ensuring that i'm looking straight at the screen and so i was not really able to focus properly on the actual test another issue with taking the test online is if the proctor feels that you're doing something wrong and they cancel your exam then you won't get a refund you have to rebook and retake the test here are some tips to help you pass the developer associate exam with flying colors take as many practice tests as you can the questions on these practice tests match very well with the actual exam so you'll get a good idea of the kind of questions that are asked on the exam most often if you're done with the practice test and you still have plenty of time left you can take up some questions from the brain dumps that you can find online the amount of content that you'll have to go through to prepare for this exam is enormous you not only need to have a good understanding of the concepts but you also need to remember a lot of information so make sure you have at least 3 days to revise your notes properly before you take the actual test so that was all about the AWS developer associate certification exam good luck if you're taking this exam anytime in the near future thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you later